approach the Pharaoh. Great Pharaoh, the gift of Troy is a fabulous fabric from the land of the five rivers. Our thanks to Priam. It is fabulous indeed. It shimmers like the Nile. What is it? How is it made? No one knows, great Pharaoh. It is spun on the looms of the gods. They call it silk. The ambassador from Jericho. What kingdom has sent you? The kingdom of the Most High. These must be ambassadors for an Indian one. Uh, Bedouins? What gifts do you bring? We bring you the word of God. What is this word? Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, let my people go. The slaves are mine. Their lives are mine. All that they own is mine. I do not know your God, nor will I let Israel go. Who are you to make their lives bitter in hard bondage? Man shall be ruled by law, not by the will of other men. <laughs> Who is this God that I should let your people go? Aaron. Cast down my staff before Pharaoh, that he may see the power of God. In this, you shall know that the Lord is God. Nothing of his will harm you, my son. The power of your god is a cheap magician's trick. Join us. and swallows up the others. You gave me this staff to rule over scorpions and serpents, but God made it a rod to rule over kings. Hear his word, Ramses, and obey. <gasps> obey? Moses, Moses. Are there no magicians in Egypt that you have come back to make serpents out of sticks or cause rabbits to appear? <laughs> I will give your staff a greater wonder to perform. Bear it before your idle people and bid them make bricks without straw. How can people make bricks without straw? Let his staff provide them with it. <laughs> or let them glean straw in the fields for themselves. But their tally of bricks shall not diminish. So let it be written. So let it be done. Egypt. We do not leave Egypt. 
Moses promised. Moses be. Why? Why? But you said we'd be free. I have brought more evil upon you. God forgive my weak use of his strength. Weak use? Moses, Moses what have you done to us? It is Pharaoh's order that you be given no straw to make your tally of bricks. No straw? It was you! He stole our straw! How can you make bricks without straw? You will glean the stubble of the fields by night. And your women and children, too. Is this the Deliverer? You've brought the wrath of Pharaoh upon us. You put a sword in their heads to kill us! Stone him! Stone him! There goes your deliverer. Now go find your straw. Remember, the tally must be the same. Not one brick less. I cursed you. Each time Ramses took me in his arms, I cursed you, not him, because I love you. The Moses who loved you was another man. No, he was not. You believe you've changed, but you haven't. You call yourself a prophet, a man of God, but I know better. I don't believe that only the thunder of a mountain stirs your heart. As you stir mine. Nefertiri, I have stood in the burning light of God's own presence. It was not he who saved you just now. I did that. Oh, Moses, Moses. Why, of all men, did I fall in love with the Prince of Fools? But I believe anything you tell me when I'm in your arms. Why must you deny me and yourself? Because I am bound to a god, and to a people, and to a shepherd girl. A shepherd girl? What can she be to you? Unless the desert sun has dulled your senses. Does she grate garlic on her skin? Or is it soft as mine? Are her lips chafed and dry as the desert sand? Or are they moist and red like a pomegranate? Is it the fragrance of myrrh that scents her hair? Or is it the odor of sheep? There is a beauty beyond the senses, Nefertiri. Beauty like the quiet of green valleys and still waters. Beauty of the spirit that you cannot understand. Perhaps not. But beauty of the spirit will not free your people, Moses. You will come to me, or they will never leave Egypt. The fate of Israel is not in your hands, Nefertiri. Oh, isn't it? Who else can soften Pharaoh's heart? Or oh, harden it. Yes. You may be the lovely dust through which God will work his purpose. Fill every jar in your house with water. Tell the others that for seven days there will be none to drink. But this well has never run dry. The river's high. What does it mean? Whose word is that? One who knows? Go fill your jars or go thirsty. Miriam is always right. Yes, I'm going back for more jars. No water for seven days. Yes, Joshua. 
she comes to the well every day. 